Hey there YouTube. So uh, I've been having this issue where the uh, oil's been leaking on this 2004 Pontiac Grand Am with the 2.2 liter Ecotec. As you can tell by the oil spot on the ground here where it was parked yesterday and let's see if there's another one underneath. Oh yep, there's the other one. They're losing quite a bit of oil. So what we're gonna be trying today is the Lucas engine oil stop leak. So I'm about a quart down. This is luckily a quart. It says you should add uh, about 20% to whatever the oil capacity is on the engine. So we're right on the spot on where we need to do this. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and start the car, uh, open that oil cap and uh, start putting this stuff in there. So hopefully it works pretty darn fast. Let's see here, yep, looking good. Let's go ahead and start doing that. So on this car, the oil cap is right here on top, as most cars around the valve cover. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and take that off and remove it. Uh, the oil was just changed on this guy probably about, I don't know, a uh, couple thousand, or about a thousand miles ago. So adding this should help with the new oil change. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and turn it upside down and start pouring here. Now this stuff is thick, so um, you got to be patient with it. But... I mean, it's thick, it's stringy, and pretty nasty. Now, uh, the instructions on the back of it didn't say anything about turning the vehicle on while we're doing this, and you probably don't want the valve cover open, or uh, you probably don't want valve pressure to be reduced anyways by removing the oil cap. So we're gonna leave it off while we're filling this up, just as you would with any oil change. And we're just gonna put the whole quart in there. Like I said, if you touch it, it's super stringy, annoying to get off your hands. Try at any cost to not get it on your engine or your hands. What we'll do and then after is we'll go ahead and go for test we'll go for a drive. Hopefully it quiet down this engine a little bit too with how thick this oil is. I'm sure it will. We'll go for a drive. After we go for a drive, let it set for a day. And then um We'll go on and take a look and see if there's any oil drops. There we go. We're right down to the end of this. We'll go ahead and uh, try not to make a mess here real quick. See if we can good we'll put the cap back on here and I'll go for a drive uh, once I get back I'll go ahead and park it in a different spot than I did uh, the last two days and we'll see uh, within the next couple days whether or not it will actually be leaking or not so we'll get back to you on that one all right, we just came back from our drive from putting the stop leak in. So let's take a look real quick before we put this away for the night. So we do have a couple of drops of oil down on the ground. Well, we'll keep note of that and compare it to what it may look like tomorrow and see if it's any better. So we'll uh, check this out tomorrow. Well, it's been a couple days since uh, I put the stop stop leak in there for the oil and uh, well, this is the one I had from a couple days ago. Right after I parked it after going for the test drive, it's still leaking. So these were the original two. And then let's see what it did overnight last night after driving it again. So you can see it's still leaking, not as bad but it is still leaking. So I'll give my final review here on the uh, on this product. So the Lucas engine oil stop leak. It worked, but it didn't stop the leak. Uh, I still got quite a bit of oil on the ground underneath the car after a couple days of driving it. And uh, I don't know. I would I, I probably want to do it again. I'll probably just uh, find the leak wherever it is from the gasket that's uh, leaking on the engine and I'll probably just fix it now. But it's worth a shot. It was about 10 bucks and uh, I don't know. I Like I said, I probably want to do it again, but uh, that's, that's my review on the uh, Lucas Engine Stop Leak. Hopefully it has better results for you. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.